The problem with using productivity apps on your iPhone is your phone is filled with distractions. Instead, I'm a big fan of getting the full potential of my Apple Watch. And when it comes to productivity, my two favorite apps are Todoist for task management and Timery for execution of those tasks. Both are simple, reliable, and completely free watch apps. So in this video, let me make the case for ditching your iPhone and using these two apps on the watch to boost your productivity. I'll show you their features and why I love them so much. Links to both apps are in the description below if you wanna check them out. Now, when it comes to task management, there are a lot of apps out there, but I always go back to Todoist because of its reliability, its design, and how it's on every single platform. And that includes Windows, Mac, on the web, even its Alexa integration is pretty awesome. The iPhone app is amazing for quickly capturing thoughts, ideas, or tasks and throwing them into a project, and there's zero friction for input. And the app has a home screen widget, it has a lock screen widget, and it also allows you to categorize using simple hashtags. But the watch app doesn't disappoint either. It syncs all of your projects and tasks as you would expect. It also allows for quick capture via voice dictation. It's simple to verify what you said and then add it to a project list. And it's natural language processing will understand dates and recurring events as well. And I sleep with my watch on and I use this feature all the time in bed. I always get ideas and I try my best to get them down as soon as possible before I lose them. And this is so much easier than to turn the light on and grab a notepad or to grab my phone. And speaking of my phone, I'm a big fan of putting my phone on a timeout the first few hours in the morning and having Todoist on my wrist makes it easier. I also use Todoist as a place to put all my shopping lists and grocery lists. So when I go to the store, I can look at my wrist versus pulling out my phone. There's something simple about keeping your phone in your pocket and just looking at your wrist when you are out and about. Now, task management apps are only one part of the equation, and I think it's the easier part. Everyone likes to do quick capture. Everyone likes to organize their projects. The problem is it makes you feel like you're being productive when you really haven't done anything yet. And I'm not saying this as someone who doesn't procrastinate because I do, especially on productivity, but I'm saying this as the truth. So this is where I think it's really important to focus in on what you can control. And I know for myself, when I work on something, I can't control how I feel, I can't control how much progress I'm making, but what I can control is how much time I'm spending on the task. And this is where the app Timery comes in because it's all about execution of your tasks. Time tracking apps don't lie. You start the timer, you record your session, and then you have a history of all your sessions and it builds an awareness of how much time you're spending on a specific task or a project. Now you can get pretty fancy and you can track all of your projects and all of your tasks, but I highly recommend you do not do that because I don't think it's sustainable. Instead, pick one or two areas and just make them into projects. So I have one project called work and I have one project called YouTube. And I just track those two. Now the app is super simple to use. You'll open it up, you'll swipe right, and then you'll just press the project that you wanna start. Another reason why I like to keep it simple is if you want more projects or if you wanna start tracking tasks, it's gonna cost you a little bit of extra money because Timery has a free version where it's limited to I think three or four projects and the paid version has more than that. So if you do not wanna spend money on this app, Keep it simple, which is what I recommend. And the app sends you a report every Monday morning with how much time you spend on those projects. And I think this is really great because it breaks this misperception. A lot of times we think we're spending a lot of time on a project or task, but in reality we didn't. And for me, this is a perfect example. For a while I thought I was spending like 15, 20 hours on like a YouTube video. And in reality, I was spending like eight or nine hours. It was just a lot of the agony of thinking about it, but I wasn't really taking the actions. Now you might be wondering why I decided to go with Timery over something like a Focus Timer or a Pomodoro Timer. And I've done my homework and I've looked through all the apps on the Apple Watch. And I found that there's not one really good one, at least in my use case, all of them either rely on the iPhone, have a poor design, they don't track sessions, or they're not really reliable. And this is where I use really two apps. I use the Timery app, but then I also use Apple's default countdown timer, and I have the set for 52 minutes, that's favorited. So I'll start the countdown timer, and then I'll start the Timery app. And the reason I do this is because then I remember to turn off the Timery app. The Timery app is really good in the fact that if you forget to even start a timer or if you need to make adjustments, you can do that post session. This one-two combo of Todoist and Timery has been such a game changer for me the last few months and I wanted to share it with you guys, especially if, it's, if you have the same mindset as me, which is using your watch to its full potential and using it as a standalone device. So give this a shot and let me know in the comments below if it's working for you. Thanks for watching and if you're looking to optimize the best settings for your Apple Watch, check out this video. 
Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.